almost there, Max. Good, because I'm lousy with anticipation. I can see. Tell me what the commissioner said again, Sam. Go on, tell me. Tell me what he said. He said in so many four-letter words it promises to be our most bizarre, unsettling, and gut-wrenching assignment to date. We're headed for the rhombus, Max. A super-secret military enclave whose existence the government completely denies. Most likely because they feel stupid saying rhombus. How about enclave? Hey, good point. Looks like we're here. Let me just get the door. Look, Sam, scientists running in packs. I had no idea nerds were hurting animals. Sam and Max, freelance police. Yes, we sent for you. Please hurry, time is of the essence. What you are about to see is extremely classified. You must never speak of it outside these walls. Can we have your word? Sure, except my word is unctuous, so you won't get to use it very often. This entire facility was created to house our subject, a being that is without question the world's most fearsome biological entity. I can't believe you weren't even nominated. We believe that if harnessed, this force of nature could become a valuable weapon in our government's immense military arsenal. Immense arsenal? <laughs> That's funny. What? Does my arsenal look big in these pants? Behind this door lies the living terror you have been called upon to tame. You will be doing battle with a being capable of unspeakable power and hostility. I cannot overstate the need for extreme caution. Are you ready? Are you ready, Max? You ready, boy? Are you? Are you? <coughs> All set, Doc. Crack her open. <coughs> I have to be brutally honest here. I was expecting more. Uh, not to wax skeptical or anything, but just what makes this wee shaver a potential weapon of doom? We haven't given you all the facts yet. Allow us to explain. Oh, honey, you've got schmutz all over your face. Aw, oh, Mom! Gary is our son, our only child, and he has a great gift. The beanie weenies are touching the sandwich. <gasps> what? What'd he say? I said the beanie weenies are touching the sandwich! Who's responsible? No, Gary, he's new. How could he know? Spare him, son! This is what I think you are! <gasps> oh, Gary! When? When will the madness end? I stand corrected. I'm the president of his fan club. He just turned that guy into a... Don't say it. There are impressionable youngsters present. Something that rhymes with redhead. That is correct. Gary has the power to physically alter his surroundings with his mind. Really? Hey, Gary, turn me into a painted turtle. I want to be a painted turtle! He's got a slight advantage at dodgeball. Unfortunately, Gary hasn't been himself lately. His moody behavior and tantrums have seriously begun to endanger the project. Hey, it's my estranged Uncle Bill. We'd like you to spend some time with him. You know, cheer him up, toss a ball with him. I think I understand. You just want Gary to feel like any other kid with freakishly destructive powers. Exactly. Good luck. Paranormal critter. If it didn't slash us to bits, I was gonna name it Tippy. I'm sorry. I don't want to do bad things. I just get mad sometimes. We understand, kiddo. You're not in your natural habitat. A boy your age needs lots of fresh air and sunshine and warlike electronic games and artificially colored cream filled goodies. I've never heard of those things. Are they fun? Let the games begin! <laughs> We're in for some fun now, eh, kids? You can say that again, little pal. We'll show our young charge a good time and use his mystic abilities for our own childish amusement. Can you say symbiotic? Not without busting a gut. Sounds like a 
like a bank job, Sam. <laughs> this is what I think you are. <laughs> Mugging at 12 o'clock, Max. This is what I think you are. Better go easy for a while, Max. We wouldn't want to drain the kid. Poor little guy. You know, Sam, I think this is going to be the beginning of a very special and rewarding relationship. Jeez, that guy hit you harder than I thought. This is our rumpus room, Gary. We use these training dummies to sharpen our hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Uh, let's get ready to rumpus! Wow, you guys even have your very own secret command center. You're like superheroes. With special powers, thanks to you. I've never had so much fun. I love you, Sam and Max. Well, gee. We love you too, kid. You know, Gary, at moments like these, Sam and I have a special way of showing how we feel about each other. Really? How? Airplane ride! Master Sam, let him know how you feel! Oh, I don't think I like this. Stop it! Cut it out! You've made me very angry. This is what I think you When will it stop? Herman Max, you sent my positronically enhanced big brother Noogie Man to the refuse heap. I must avenge him. Hmm. Hmm. Not to worry, there. It's just another training device our trusted assistant left to keep us on our toes. <laughs> it's a little loud, though. So, you're the pincher, huh? I bet he packs quite a pinch, eh, Gare? I'm not scared of some dorky old pincher. Pinch, Stop pinch! That. A pinch, Stop pinch. Stop pinch. 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 I said enough! <laughs> you shall now pay dearly for your disrespect, for I am... The pincher! How's that? Not too loud? Much better. It makes no difference. My manner of speech has nothing to do with my ability to give you such big pinches. You know, Sam, it occurs to me that the geek probably wouldn't make something that would cause this much damage to her lab. Looks like we read this one all wrong. This here's the real thing. My friends, they're really in trouble. These helmets won't hold out forever, Sam. The pressure eats... It's messing up my hat size! Hey, you! It's not nice to pinch. How would you like it? Good one, Gare. Way to go there, Chucker. Anything for my friends. Sorry we were gone so long, but Gary and Max and I had quite a day. As you can see, the subject's mood certainly has improved. <laughs> we think old Gare will become a more well-rounded secret <laughs> weapon this way. Are you kidding? He's ruined. Everything's a joke to him. His attention span is nil. You've made him like any other eight-year-old boy. The project is dead. And for that, we are forever in your debt. You mean you aren't mad? Of course not. Now we can be like a real family again. Did you hear that, Gary? No more tests, no more experiments. Let's go home, son. I feel all toasty inside. Why, Sam? Well, either our lunch is doing slow rolls or we're feeling kind of good about all this. Yeah. Who knew a story about a family as whacked out as this could wrap up as neat as Martha Stewart's underwear drawer? <laughs> you cracked me up, little buddy. <laughs>